Hey guys, so after using 32 gigs that I set up in this Aurora R6 set behind me, uh, I came to the conclusion that the best setup for this system uh, would be 16 gigabytes. It's 2666 megahertz because 32 gigs was unstable. I had five, maybe six computer freezes during the gaming only during games, it never happened during usual use. So I needed to reboot the system, I needed to place the old memory in it that it came with, the memory that was originally was this, it's 16 gig one stick with 2400 megahertz, okay? And the memory that I'm placing inside is this. This was recommended by Alienware so that should be working fine. There are four sticks, eight gigs each so that, that should be working fine but it doesn't. It doesn't even though to start it working you need to go in BIOS. You need to set up overclocking to level one at least. You need to enable XMP mode, restart the system with 16 gigs in each inside then add another two sticks to make it 32 and then it will work it will work fine and it used to work fine up until i had six or five freezes i don't remember exactly and in the following videos you will see uh, on the example i used the battlefield one game the fps check and you will see how much memory is used in each setup i was using the base model the 1400 megahertz 16 gigabyte one stick Two sticks 8 gigabyte each and four sticks 8 gigabyte each with 2666 and you will see what's the difference between them. Man makes plans and God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops would have to be dealt with before the explosives could be set.
Okay, so you saw the difference between 16 gigabyte, 2400, 16 gigabyte, 2666 and 32 with 2666 megahertz. The frame rate was the highest for some reason with 16 gigabyte, 2666 and as I see the system setup is the most stable. So for the next month at least I will be running it with this current memory setup and we will see if I'll have any freezes, if I'll have any drops in the frame rate and I'll make another video. So you can follow this channel and subscribe to it if you would like to see more videos about setups and upgrade of Aurora R6 and other gameplay that you can find here. Thank you guys for watching. See you.